10 facts to know about the new Mario movie. Now that the film has been out, we'll investigate more of the numerous hypotheses, facts, and Easter eggs that may have been missed or ignored in the Super Mario Bros. movie. According to Jack Black, the idea for Bowser to sing a love song wasn't conceived until the recording of Bowser's love song was halfway complete. When Michael Jelinek and Aaron Horvath originally brought up the notion, Black wasn't totally sold on it. However, after hearing a brief demo of Peaches that caught his attention, he agreed to expand on it with the assistance of his fellow collaborator, John Spiker. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to marry a princess and rule the world. Wow, uh, <laughs> yay. But there's one problem, Luigi. There's a human traveling with my fiance. Has a mustache just like you. Do you know him? Oh, no. Help. Help. Unless you consider Pietro from the Super Mario Bros. Super Show, Mario and Luigi's parents and other family members make an appearance in this film, which is a first for the family franchise. The father and uncle of Mario and Luigi in the movie bear striking similarities to Talon and Ingo from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, according to some fans. Furthermore, Uncle Tony, who was only alluded to in the Glassnuts live-action portion, also makes his final appearance in the movie and is voiced by Reno Romano. The phrase, Mushroom Kingdom, here we come, from the movie's trailer does not appear once in the finished product. Since the main green Yoshi was glaringly omitted from the trailers while all the other Yoshis were included, some fans hypothesized that he may appear elsewhere in the film. And what's this? They had a good idea. There is a green Yoshi egg in the wreckage in the post credit sequence. It is slightly cracked. John Leguizamo, who played Luigi in the 1993 movie adaptation, declined to see the new film because he felt the voice cast lacked diversity. He is unaware that Anya Taylor-Joy, who provided the voice of Princess Peach, is Latina. Notably, the movie's two stars, black actors Kevin Michael Richardson and mixed actors Keegan Michael Key, are both of these races. Yikes! The Koopa General exclaims, Blue Shell, before slipping in his spiny shell and taking off like a homing missile. This is actually a nickname that the Mario Kart community and greater geek culture in general have given to the Koopa General. The item's official name, according to Nintendo, is Spiny Shell. Giuseppe and Mario and Luigi's father are both voiced by Charles Martinet, and he does it in a variety of languages, including English, French, Spanish, Catalan, Brazilian Portuguese, German, and Italian. Impressive! One scene features Peach being coerced into marrying Bowser, which is reminiscent of the plot of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show episode, Do You, Princess Toadstool, Take This Koopa? but could possibly be a reference to Super Mario Odyssey. Grant Kirkhope, who wrote the DK rap, Mario and Luigi run through a building site in Mario's history, which largely recreates level 1-1 from the original Super Mario Bros. game. And I was really hoping to see my name there. But sadly, as expected, it isn't there. Satoru Iwata, the late former Nintendo president who passed away before the movie's production got underway, is given an honorary credit in the film as the former president of Nintendo. But in 2014, he took part in the initial discussions with Sony Pictures Animation. 
Early on in the film, Mario fixes the sink for their first customers in a manner reminiscent to Bob Hoskins' Mario from the 1993 film adaptation. The conclusion of the new film, in which Mario and President Koopa are twisted into Brooklyn, is very identical to that of the original from 1993. However, Mario and Bowser truly engaged in combat this time.